So I'm here at a city of Buffalo Beach right now, but it turns out that state park officials say things have been going pretty smoothly across the region. They say it's because people are following those public health measures, which will be the key to reopening Western New York. Yesterday, I spoke to UB Chief of Infectious Disease, Dr. Thomas Russo. He said everyone's behavior this weekend was going to be a strong factor in determining Western New York's fate. Well, we had a little bit of bump in cases and admissions that I think was related to Mother's Day. We've gotten past that. We've had several good days now. However, it's Memorial Day weekend, right? And people are getting together and gathering. Um, so I am a little concerned. State Parks officials say that everyone has been following those public health measures, though. Over at Evangola State Park, officials tell me they had about 160 cars in the parking lot. Despite a crowded beach this Memorial Day, they tell me everyone who came kept a good distance from other people. They also tell me they noticed several beachgoers putting on their masks when they were getting too close to someone else. Officials say picnic tables were also placed on top of one another or had caution tape so no one could use them. However, this is what it looked like at Evangola State Park this afternoon. Two on your side also checked out Buffalo Harbor State Park and Woodlawn Beach for about a half hour each today. Here's what it looked like at both of them this afternoon. Now, those are just the beaches. Again, Dr. Russo says that reopening Western New York on time will be based upon whether or not people follow those public health measures. So right now, only time will tell if everybody followed the rules on this Memorial Day weekend. In Buffalo, Danielle Church, Channel 2 News.